All right, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an amazing planet scene using a Harbor Freight Quick Change airbrush or any other airbrush that you can change colors quickly. This is using regular acrylic paint, the kind that comes in tubes. All right, so check it out. Let's get started. We're painting on poster board, just like a spray paint artist. And I'm laying down some white color where my planets and my land are going to go so that they're nice and bright when they come out. And then my first color is going to be a light color. So I'm, I'm laying down some yellow and a little orange on top of that. So down at the bottom, that's where my land is going to go. And up in that left hand corner is where a planet's going to go. So on top of that, I'm adding a little bit of blue and then to the planets off to the right. Maybe I'll start with blue and see what happens so that there's some variety. And on top of that blue, I put a little white and to that planet to the right, which doesn't have a lot of orange and yellow in it. I add a little bit of green. So let's crinkle up our newspaper and brush it over and see what we come up with. Now you can use whatever colors strike your fancy as long as you use light colors under darker colors. So crinkling that newspaper up and just kind of brushing it over, we have some nice texture. So once that's a little bit dry, now I've, I've let this dry a little bit or you can dry it with a hairdryer. If you're painting outside, I'll dry real quick. Uh, I put some, some plates and caps and stuff on it, you know, stuff that you find around your kitchen. I like to put a little bit of duct tape on the top of some of my plates so that they're easy to remove. And I'm going to add a few colors where my land is going to go. So I've just added a little bit of orange and a little bit of green. And I'm going to take my black and I'm going to start working on the sky. I did spray a little bit on the land, uh, but if you're using light colors, that's a good thing to do. If you're using dark colors, you don't have to do that. All right, so I'm starting to spray in the black for the sky. Now some of these caps are a little bit light, so you might have to press down on them when you spray up close so that they don't move around. Another alternative is put, put something heavy on them or make sure you get a heavy cap somewhere. So I'm spraying around them with my black. And I think I'll put the light right in the middle of where those three planets go. I'm just kind of improvising this as I go. So I'm using like a turquoise color and I've just sprayed a little bit there in the middle of all of those planets. And now the thing to do would be to make some stars. So to make stars, I've just got a torn piece of poster board, just the same stuff that I'm painting on. And I sprayed a little white on it or I squeezed a little white out of my squeeze bottle and shook it onto my painting. And they're my stars and they're my planets. So now all we need to do is shade our planets out with a little bit of black. You can always mix another black that's a little bit thinner for the shading and that uh, will work nicely if you have a thicker black for the sky and a thinner black for shading. I don't always do that, but it's a nice thing to do. Okay, I've sprayed a little Windex. That's Windex window cleaner on the paint that's going to be my land. And now it's ready to work with some newspaper. So I've just got some regular newspaper torn up into shapes and I put my hand inside and I can draw with that newspaper in a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different newspaper techniques to hold the newspaper to get different kinds of mountains, rocks. Um, if you're interested in that, uh, check out airbrushpaintingsecrets.com where we have all the lessons where you can learn about how to do that. And also, uh, you can also learn about how to do this kind of technique on many other surfaces, how to prepare canvas, how to prepare wood, how to prepare anything for painting with this style of airbrush painting. You need a very special kind of surface to do this on. It's got to have the right amount of absorbency and the right amount of tooth. <laughs> so we talk about there at airbrush painting secrets, but you can definitely do this on poster board, just like a spray paint artist. All right, so I'm just using my newspaper to create some interesting rocks. The more times that I press down, the more paint I remove. If I'm not removing paint, I can always go back and with a little Windex uh, window cleaner or window lean, if you're in Europe or Australia, I think that's what they use there. Or other window cleaner that you find uh, that has ammonia in it, you can loosen up that paint. And there's other things you can loosen up the paint with as well. You could try water, in fact. Um, that will work to a certain extent. There's some other cleaners that'll work as well. Um, so if you can't find that particular brand, don't worry, just try some things and see what loosens up the paint for you. And then I can go in there with my palette knife and just draw some detail. Like little, little towers on top of those mountains, maybe little, they look like antennas, little swirly things, maybe some staircases coming down from those mountains, just improvising. I like to improvise without thinking too much because sometimes you get amazing things that are completely unexpected. All right, so to create some stars, it's very easy. Just poke a hole in some poster board or paper, thick paper, and spray some white paint through it, and you've got some stars. Now let's create like a grid at the bottom. So I'm just blocking off the rest of the painting with a sheet of paper there, sheet of poster board, and spraying some black. And now with my palette knife, I can go in there and draw perspective lines 
Now there are a lot of ways of doing this, but this is the most simple way, is to start from the center and draw those lines coming out towards you. You may have to move that paper around to get into a place where it's easy to work with. And then you're gonna just make some horizontal lines. They're closer together at the top because they're farther away. And as they get closer to you, they get farther and farther from each other. And there we have a sense of perspective at the bottom. Now let's put a little castle in the middle. So I'm using a little Windex window cleaner there. Loosened up that paint. Now with my palette knife, I can draw. Now the reason it's coming out white is because we laid down that white at the beginning. If we laid down another color at the beginning, that color would have absorbed into the paper and we'd be seeing a, you know, a yellow castle or a red castle. But since my first color that I laid down was white, I get a nice white castle. But that gives you lots of options that you don't have with spray paint. So I put a little dome on it by spraying into a curved piece of paper that goes over the castle and I just finish off the bottom edge with a little black. And there we have a very quick couple minutes uh, little spray paint style airbrush painting. I hope you've enjoyed this and if you want to learn more go to airbrushpaintingsecrets.com to learn how to do this with an airbrush or spraypaintartsecrets.com to learn how to do this with spray cans including water-based spray cans. All right. If you have any questions, my name is Alisa Amore and my email is spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. We got lots more free stuff coming for you.